Okay, so I've got to <coughs> try and keep you uh, awake and uh, attentive. And uh, there will be an acrobat reader here. There it is. And you. Okay, so. Um, so I'll try and keep you awake by just shouting at you, which is kind of often my, that's what has to do with students. They often say the definition of a professor is someone who speaks in his student's sleep. And uh, <laughs> so I'll try, uh, we'll see how far I discharge that. Okay, so I'm here uh, with, with, with two roles. I've got 20 minutes. I'm going to give you a lightning tour, a degree of evangelism about uh, a movement that we're seeing emerge globally that is very much to the point of the open agenda, and it's around open data. Um, I have a couple of roles. I have a role with the, uh, with, with the British government. In fact, uh, it started from the last government, has been continued under the uh, new coalition government. Uh, I'll talk about that, but I'm also a professor at Southampton where I research a next generation web technology. So here's the context. Um, sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you catch a wave, um, and this whole notion of open data is something that's erupting everywhere. There are hashtags everywhere on open data, linked data, um, open gov. Governments, cities, organizations, individuals are releasing data for reuse under all imaginable contexts. Um, we were asked by um, the previous administration, Tim and I were asked to uh, try and do something for the United Kingdom's non-personal public data, government data, make it available, easily accessible. It was partly prompted by the work that the Obama administration had done on coming into office with its transparency uh, uh, initiative and data.gov. Okay, so there'd be a data.gov.uk. And at the end of this meeting, I want to ask, why won't there be a data.gov.fr.de?